Hello everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Oh, oh. <laughs> I know my foundation blending and everything concerning my face isn't so perfect today, but um I'm most pr hey, this eyelash wants to embarrass me. Jesu. You know what? That doesn't matter right now. I'm done. Um if you'd like to see how I created this, the the link to the video will be up um on youtube so you can check that out there like it's, it's a long video so i thought rather than shorten it to like 10 minutes that it just you know see the whole process i almost fell trying to create this anyway the point of this video is today i am going to be talking about skincare so i'm gonna remove this off my face and we're gonna get started on what i use for my skin so stay tuned skincare and let me start by saying I personally do not use soap on my face. Yes, I. Yeah, I. It's been about five, six years, maybe even more, um, that I stopped using soap on my face mainly because I naturally have oily skin, um, especially around these areas, and I noticed that. Oh, yeah, I need to eat, and I noticed that. Um, when I was using soap on my face, it wouldn't help my skin because then after I'm done like putting on lotion, my skin would be really oily by the end of the day. So when I stopped using soap on my face, I noticed an improvement. And when I started doing like actual, you know, things to cleanse my skin, exfoliate and all this good stuff, I noticed that my skin started doing really well. Um, so I will be showing you what I do on my face. So I will not be doing my full routine. I will just show you, um, the results of using, um, the products I use on my skin and how my skin feels afterwards. Yeah. Cause if I use them one after the other, that's going to be complicated, it's not complicated, but long. So I am just, um, going to put, uh, one product on one on each part of my face like one product here one product here one product. Y you get the idea right yeah um so the first thing i use is turmeric and i used to use just turmeric and water which worked well for my skin no lie but then someone was like why don't you try turmeric and yogurt and i was like what girl what so um unfortunately i don't have yogurt but i did find um my friend has milk so i asked for some milk and I have mixed my turmeric with a little bit of milk so we are going to put that right here yeah okay okay so the reason why I put that first is because um, I usually like to allow it to dry because when it dries up, it becomes like really tight. So it works both as turmeric is a natural skin toner and by allowing the mask to dry, it actually helps, you know, with a, it becomes like a tightening mask. So two in one, it helps you with this with evening out your skin tone around your face and it's really improved i used to have like really bad dark circles but ever since i started using turmeric those dark circles have reduced significantly and even when i don't use the turmeric i still see that my skin is still pretty good um the next thing that i do use is salt everyone got salt. hey don't judge me but my salt okay so everyone got salt in the house now the reason i use salt is whenever i run out of baking soda this is my go-to because you know everyone at whatever point in their life has salt in the house so what i do is i don't usually use this in the shower i use this um before i go into the shower reason being hot water will make the salt melt so i like to I'm just mixing it with some cold water right now. I like to put it on my face before I go to shower if I don't have baking soda. And just use it as like a, a, a scrub. Um, I'm going to put it on the other cheek. Excuse me. I'm going to use my mirror. So I'm just going to put it here. And I use this as a scrub in place of baking soda. So whenever I run out of baking soda and... 
maybe I forgot to pick up some this is what I use and um, when I use baking soda I'm able to be a little bit I would say more rough but not in a bad way with the salt I have to be I have to move much slower um, because it's much coarser like the the size of the granules of the salt are much bigger so if I'm too rough when I'm using the salt that's gonna hurt my skin so yeah you can put some more water let me just get some water yeah yeah And it really does leave my skin feeling like quite, quite smooth. Um, I'm not sure if it's as good as the baking soda, but at least it's something that I can use um, when baking soda is not available. And I usually focus on my nose, like, you know those, do they call them whiteheads? I guess that's, that's the official name, like a lot of them um if i don't take care of my nose if i don't scrub my nose yeah they're gonna appear and that's not something i like yeah so of course the next thing i'm going to talk about is baking soda baking soda baking soda i got baking soda for about baking soda i got baking soda now I do not remember what got me into using baking soda. I guess it was just one of those, like, you see, like, people using baking soda for different things, like their, their armpits or something like that. So, um, yeah, when I was researching, like, what to use for my skin, what easy remedies to use for my skin, I just put this in this old, like, container for Mentos. And I carried this with me to the shower. Um, sometimes if I need to exfoliate under my arms before shaving um, and it's a quick way because um, considering I have this I can just put some on my hand scrub my face and I'm good to go that's a quick exfoliator so um, yeah so I'm going to use the baking soda same way I used um, the salt I'll mix it with a bit of cold water the benefit of baking soda is it does you can use this even with hot water and it will not dissolve so that's why i really really like using the baking soda not only that i can scrub and continue to scrub my face as many times as i want and keep going and going and going and it's not going to hurt my skin because like the size of the granules of the you can see it's removing like any leftover dirt and makeup it's it it really does a good job of not just exfoliating your skin but removing dirt as you can see it went from white to like yeah <laughs> okay so um as we wait for the turmeric to dry up um yeah this is what i use for my skin and um my skin you has been doing really well the past two years because it's become like part of my daily routine. There's always something that I need to do that benefits my skin because I don't use soap. So I definitely have to make sure that I'm cleaning my skin, especially now that it's summer. It is definitely necessary for me to clean, you know, my face. So um, this is what I use. So I am going to go and wait for the turmeric to dry, with, which hopefully shouldn't take long. And then I'll be back um, just before I go there's also something else that I use for the rest of my body I don't usually use um, any special type of like um, mask or treatment but I want to start um, making my own um, body scrubs because um, I feel like now that it's summer you know you're sweating a lot so um, there's a lot of things that you know you naturally just drink shaman you just want to get rid of all that dirt that your sweat may gather so um the only right now the only diy body scrub that i've been able to come up with mainly because 
I made it and it worked so I didn't bother myself <laughs> um, trying to make something else I'm like it works I don't have to worry about that um, is I mix um, any type of whatever you sorry whatever white you see is the baking soda okay it's the baking soda not that other type of yeah anyway um, I mix uh, I'm to in a hey, English um, this is the can call it foam body wash yeah body wash i mix it with what we call millimil uh some people call it cornmeal um if you're not african you might not know what it is but if you eat pap you eat sadza you eat nshima you know what i'm talking about it's it's the what can i say the southern african version of fufu <laughs> Um, so I got the powder and I usually mix it with like a shower gel or a foam bath. The reason why I use the foam bath is I love the way this smells. Oh my gosh. Like good stuff. Um, someone bought it for me for my birthday. It was like two little bo bottles of body wash. There was lotion i think there was conditioner and shampoo so it smells really nice and i put the maize meal about i used about a tablespoon this time and i put about twice or three times um the amount of maize meal i put three times um yeah you know what i mixed the foam the the body wash and the maize meal to create a body scrub and it worked really really well like this looks like it's not enough but it's actually going to do like a good job because i made about this much and i used this i mean yeah i made about this much and i used this much yesterday and it's really like my skin feels so soft afterwards like guys and you can see like right now it's not as thick as when yeah you can see like you can see the the maize mill granules yeah it's not as um thick as when i first made it yesterday and i would advise that if you're gonna do the same avoid putting water if you're going to use the maize mill and the body wash or whatever shower gel you're using avoid adding water because i've noticed that if any water gets into that mix the maize meal starts to ferment and you don't want that. Um, another way you can avoid that is um, don't make like a huge batch of it, like a whole bottle, because if the maize meal starts to ferment, that's something you don't want to, you don't want to put something that's fermenting on your body. That's, that's not right. Yeah. So avoid putting water. I'm yet, excuse me, excuse me. Ugh. Mosquitoes, disrespectful. <laughs> Um, avoid getting water into your mixture because of course your um, mixture will start to ferment i can say maybe oils are okay i'm not sure if that prevents the fermenting but the oil oils are, are quite all right as you can see it's it's the turmeric has dried up nicely um so yeah i am gonna wash my face and then i'll be back and i show you what i use to moisturize back at it <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so I have washed my face. Um, I don't know if the camera shows it, but the tumor. Hey, yeah, lash glue. Oh my gosh. Anyway, um, the turmeric does leave behind a yellow tint. Um, so what I usually do, which I find works for me, is after I thoroughly wash it off. I go back in with baking soda and I go back in not to scrub my face but just to like help scrub off that um, yellow tint and that does work for me and then of course you know you pat dry and you know that helps um, but yeah I would say the smoothest part I feel and not to be biased but is the baking soda where I use the baking soda but other than that everywhere on my skin feels really good and like really like you know like after you've had like a really nice facial um that's how my skin feels so what do i use to moisturize now that it's summer 
I use this. I use aloe vera gel, which is really easy to find. I live in China, so it is so easy to find this. I buy this online. So many shops have it, skincare shops. Um, most of them have it. Um, if you live in a country that has Miniso, Miniso is a Japanese brand. I think it's either Korean or Japanese. Um, they also sell this. Hopefully, they sell it in your country. Um, it's a it's aloe vera gel, and it is it is amazing for soothing skin. I have naturally oily skin, so I don't need like a oily like a moisturizer with oil in it. Um, but during winter, I actually switch up. Please don't mind my lipstick. <laughs> I actually switch up to a uh, lotion. Uh, that's the same lotion I use on my body. Is the same lotion I use on my face, which is clear and my favorite type of clear lotion is the one in the tub the the is it the cocoa butter yes clear cocoa butter guys clear proves that you don't need an expensive lotion girl for your skin to feel soft like clear is my go-to clear <sighs> if there's any lotion that i would just constantly use that's the one that's the one i buy when i go home or that i ask for um if i'm if i'm able to get get stuff from back home i always always ask for clear body lotion don't need no nivea no and if it works for you cool but for me clear body uh lotion is the best for me i'd say the only time that i don't use it is during summer because obviously it's hot so you'd rather use something um a little bit lighter but otherwise <laughs> Oh my god. Anybody from Claire or the owners of Claire or whichever company owns Claire Body Lotion. I'm here. Sponsor me. Sponsor me. <laughs> anyway, so uh I'm going I usually use a spatula but I'm I'm being yeah. So I use this on my face. Ooh, feels good. It I keep it in the freezer so this um during summer of course but during winter i also use it during winter sometimes i use it both um both the lotion and this and they work well together so um but this summer this is the probably the only thing so far that i've been using on my skin and it's really good like even when i just take like a shower this is what i use on my skin so Oh, that feels so good. Wow. Um, I used to just like apply it, apply it, then I'll leave it. But this time I really like to make sure that it's really like sunk into my skin. And the benefit of this type of aloe vera, I'm just looking into the mirror here, is that I can use it on even other parts of my body except i haven't really found it to work with hair so but i can use it anywhere else on my body like you know how you get like sometimes after shaving your skin is irritated when that happens i use it um um even like by feet sometimes i'll put this and then i'll also use sheer butter on my feet um so yeah So that concludes today's video um i'm the type of person i have fallen in love with um diy skincare um products not i would not i wouldn't say diy skincare products but like diy skincare maybe you would say projects um i like things that it's easy for me to put together easy for me to try I don't have to spend a lot of money, um, especially with like the baking soda. I can buy a packet of baking soda, and if I even if I'm using it every day, it will probably last me like maybe even up to two months. So I really enjoy that, and it does the job perfectly. My skin feels soft, my skin feels supple, 
and it's my number one defense for pimples when my forehead is notorious for getting pimples so whenever i get pimples i just uh, mix the baking soda with water put it scrub my my forehead and just leave it there sometimes i even leave it there overnight and i find that within two three days pimples are gone um the turmeric is the one that helps with the black like the dark spots that are left behind but the baking soda helps get rid of the the actual pimple so that's why i use uh, a combination of all the three that i've been talking about and that's how i keep my skin smooth and clean even without having to use um branded moisturizers or cleansers or um facials i would say right now the only particular facial that I would like to buy one that I can't make. Um, I wish I could find the type of clay I'm looking for, but I couldn't find it. So I've opted to get, uh, I want a charcoal mask. I've been looking for something that's um, um, a charcoal mask. Yeah, so uh, thank you for watching. And I hope that you check out my other videos and my other posts about skincare. And I'll be bringing you more skincare videos, not just about the face, but um, there are also a couple of things that I've been trying for my feet because there's actually a condition I have in which my feet get boils and this summer I've been able to really help out my feet so I'll be doing another video on that. Thank you for watching. Bye!